Fast charging is getting crazy fast right now. And with fast charging comes a lot of worries about battery life, but it is just getting quicker and quicker. Right now we have the fastest charging as of making this video at 65 watts and that technology is owned by Oppo or the BBK group. So it's actually used in Oppo phones. Also another brand that they own called Realme. Their phones use 65 watts and 50 watts fast charging. Then we have Xiaomi with 50 watts. Samsung can go up to 45 watts if you buy their quick charger. Huawei just came out with their new charging technology, which is 66 watts. So yeah, this is super, super fast battery charging. But with this fast charging comes a lot of worries. Is battery life going to be damaged? Is the life of your battery over the next year or one, two, three years actually really gonna be worse charging it really quick all the time as compared to charging it at a much slower rate? So firstly, fast charging just is gonna get quicker. We already have lots of news about really brands just going for that headline rate of 100 watts. And 100 watts is perfectly possible, in fact, it's been demonstrated already in uh, test units and prototypes. Bringing it to actually phones that are sold to consumers is a different story though, but it is actually really close. USB-C supports up to 100 watt charging and Qualcomm have said that their new chips going forward will also absolutely no problem support 100 watts. So are we just gonna have batteries that fry and frizzle and don't last more than six months? Well, no is the short answer. Actually, a lot of these different charging technologies are proprietary, so each and every brand has slightly different ways of getting really quick fast charging. There's a lot of hardware that goes into the phone in terms of all the safety requirements of having a battery that is charging really quick. There's also chips that have been designed to make sure that everything is safe. And different brands do this in different ways. Some components may be in the phone, others like Oppo actually put some of the components in the charger, which is why we see these really quick charging bricks like Xiaomi's new 120 watt charging brick, also the 65 watt charging bricks from Oppo. They are just really big. Even lower down the charging scale with the iPhone, they're actually coming out with a new 20 watt charging brick. That is significantly bigger than the five watt charging brick that is usually in the box. So are these companies actually damaging our batteries by trying to outdo each other and give quicker charging, better specs to sell more products? Well, actually it shouldn't be a huge problem. Charging a battery very fast actually shouldn't have too much of a detrimental effect on that battery. You can charge a battery quick in certain ways. You can increase the watts or the amps or both and charge the battery very quickly, which shouldn't have a detrimental effect. But unfortunately, the quicker you charge a battery, you produce more and more heat. And heat is the enemy of current lithium ion batteries. There are a few ways that you can be really sure to absolutely smash your battery. For example, um, keeping it at a very high charge or absolutely no charge whatsoever for a very long time will certainly damage the longevity of your battery. It will take away, for example, if you have a 4,000 milliamp hour battery, that's 100%. If you, char if you take it down to zero for a very long time, that 100% maybe it will just go down to 90% or even 80%. And yeah, your battery health definitely will deteriorate. The real big problem for batteries though is heat. Keeping them cool actually isn't too much of a problem for their long-term health, but having them hot, even for short periods, is really, really bad. Charging batteries very fast also makes them produce heat which is very detrimental to battery life. So the real key actually to fast charging is essentially trying to charge them as fast as possible whilst producing as little heat as possible. So this is a really interesting problem that manufacturers have and they have a few different ways of trying to get around this. One of the main ones is basically chips that regulate the temperature of everything, the components and the battery. 
And so it's a very clever chip and if the battery is getting too hot or above the range that the manufacturer wants it to get, then it will actually just reduce the amount of power coming into the battery and it should save the battery's longevity like that. There are also a lot of other ways. For example, Oppo actually do it by splitting the battery pack in two, having two separate batteries, charging both of the battery packs simultaneously at different rates. And they try and basically manage the heat dissipation um, to a very good level so that both battery packs don't get too hot and they can manage char charging one quicker, charging one slower, and overall the charging time can be reduced. Oppo have developed a lot of their own technology for this and obviously they want to keep it for themselves because this tech is a selling point for them but we see Huawei coming with 66 watts so it can be done in different ways but the main thing that you want to do is keep the heat down as low as possible while having the watts and also volts as high as possible so you can charge the battery quickly. So if you do want to increase charging speeds with your phone and it can support higher speeds, then you can buy a third party charger with a higher amount of watts that can charge your phone quicker. There are also some very good power banks that you can use now and plug into your phones using USB-C or even ones for iPhone that charge at very good rates. And so you're going to get quicker charging speeds than if you were to use the five watt brick that Apple give you. You should make sure you get some good quality ones though, as really charging your phone very quickly isn't going to damage it, but charging it with a bad quality charger and cable could well do. Uh, so I'll leave some links below to some products that I've used in the past and have got good reviews in terms of power banks and charging bricks. In general, lithium ion batteries that we use in smartphones are going to degrade a little bit over time. There's nothing we can do about that. Charging them fast is not an issue. Keeping the batteries hot or having the battery hot in any way is bad, but current charging tech is very clever and regulates everything, so it should minimize the degradation that that quick charging has on the battery. But that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.